Nebraska Soybean Board provided UNL's Institute of Ag and Natural Resources with more than $1.9 million during the 2013 fiscal year for research on many aspects of soybean production. While there isn't a crop in the ground now, we'll be giving you information on how you can prepare during the off-season over the next few shows. In a few weeks, we'll look at the use of foliar fungicide applications in soybeans. On this episode, UNL Extension Plant Pathologist Lauren Giesler joins us to discuss the use of soybean seed treatments. One of the things we'll see is that those fields that have a history of a stand problem, emergence problem, that's where we typically will see a return when we get those favorable conditions for disease development. Seed treatments are not something that we're going to see return on in every field. Um, the, the other time that we'll see that is when uh, soybean farmers are you know, making that planting window earlier mm -hmm. and moving that up when we're in cool soils. That's going to be a key time for, for when those seed treatments are going to be more effective. And then the other time that we talk about using seed treatments is if a grower's looking at really cutting that seed seeding rate down, mm -hmm. then that's something that you really want that insurance to make sure you're getting every seed up. So uh, those are the two reasons that you try to do it here. What has it been effective against? Well, when we look at seedling diseases in Nebraska, uh, you know, for sure we have our share of, of, of any of them are out mm -hmm. there. And the main ones we'll see are the Pythiums, uh, the Phytophthoras, the Rhizoctonia, the Fusariums. Uh, growers that know they have a, a history of Phytophthora, that's going to be key. Uh, in using seed treatments and making sure they have products that are going to align to, to have good control with Phytophthora, that's going to be one. Uh, the other one most common is going to be Pythium, and that's just that cool, wet soil condition. And then as we go into our sandier soil areas, northeastern Nebraska, for example, we get to more sands, those kind of areas where we get that more rhizoctonia pressure. So again, just making sure those products, if they do use seed treatments, mm -hmm. making sure the products are right for the job, and then if they have any history of sand problems, that's where I'd really recommend them. Suggestions for finding the right one for the right situation? Well, a lot of them are, a lot of farmers are not going to really have much choice mm -hmm. because a, a company, you know, particularly brand seed, is going to have their set of treatments. Mm -hmm. Probably the biggest choice they're going to have is, is do I do the full treatment that may or may not contain an insecticide uh, or do I just do that fungicide base? And, and then with that selection, though, probably the main one that I see uh, potential issues with would be the Phytophthora scenario where maybe they don't have enough of, of methanoxum or metal axle, mm -hmm. which is the active ingredient that we want for Phytophthora control. And, and a lot of the, the, the combo products now have enough of that in there, mm -hmm. but they just want to make sure. So ask their seedsmen if they have that. If they haven't already selected a treatment uh, and they're looking at treatment before they go in, you know, just make sure that they got the right product that way. Since it's an extra cost, how do you weigh whether or not it's worth it to put this on, uh, if you'll get the benefit or not? Well, I, I really feel that the benefit is going to be those fields that have the history. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of growers have, have used seed treatments. We see that market increasing, you know, more and more every year, particularly as they drop populations for insurance reasons. Um, I, you know, I was just always tell them, you know, everybody doesn't need insurance for that. So, you know, if you've never had a problem with Stan and, and you're, everything's going great, you're probably not going to get a return.